Have you ever wondered why some people seem to have a natural knack for making money while others struggle? Could it be more about mindset than intelligence or skill? It's a question that Morgan Housel probes in his book, The Psychology of Money. He suggests that the way we handle our finances has less to do with numbers and more to do with behavior. Housel argues that our financial decisions are significantly influenced by our emotions, biases, and behavioral patterns. For instance, our spending habits might be driven more by our emotional needs rather than our financial needs. Similarly, our investment decisions might be swayed by our inherent biases and not just cold, hard facts. This perspective invites us to reflect on our own financial behavior. Are we letting our emotions dictate our money moves? Are our biases clouding our investment judgments? As Housel puts it, your personal experiences with money make up maybe 0.0000001% of what's happened in the world, but maybe 80% of how you think the world works. Before we continue, if you like this video, please remember to share it with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. What stories do you tell yourself about money? How do they shape your financial decisions? The narratives we create, both personal and societal, wield immense power over our financial decisions. Our tales of money are not just reflections of our financial experiences, but they also shape our perceptions of wealth and success. A personal narrative, for instance, might be about how hard work always leads to wealth. While it's an inspiring story, it doesn't account for factors such as luck, timing, and privilege. On the societal level, we've all heard tales of overnight success in the stock market. These stories can be tantalizing, but they overlook the risks involved and the many instances of failure. The narratives we subscribe to can cloud our judgment and lead us astray from sound financial decisions. So, it's crucial to critically examine the tales we tell ourselves and those we hear around us. Remember, the most compelling stories aren't necessarily the most accurate. Do you have the patience to get rich slowly? The world of finance can sometimes feel like a sprint, with everyone scrambling towards quick profits, but in reality, it's more of a marathon. It's about cultivating a patient, long-term approach to investing. It's about resisting the allure of short-term gains and playing the long game. Let's talk about compound interest. It's often hailed as the eighth wonder of the world, and for good reason. Compound interest is the process by which your wealth doesn't just grow, but it grows exponentially over time. It's like planting a seed and patiently waiting for it to become a towering tree. However, the dangers of succumbing to short-term thinking are very real. It's easy to get swayed by the prospect of quick returns, but remember the race is long and it's often won by those who stay the course, not those who sprint. Patience is not just about waiting for the right investment, it's about waiting for the results of the right investment. How comfortable are you with uncertainty? Can you stomach the ups and downs of the financial markets? Now these are the questions that lead us to the concept of risk tolerance. It's all about how much financial risk you can comfortably take on. Some thrive in high-risk, high-reward situations, while others prefer a slow and steady approach. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's about understanding your own comfort level. Yet even the most risk-tolerant among us must accept the inevitability of uncertainty. The financial markets are as unpredictable as the weather. This unpredictability is not something to fear, but something to prepare for. It's about building resilience, about having the strength to weather the storm when it comes. Resilience comes from understanding that unexpected events will occur. It's about keeping your cool when others are losing theirs. Because in the end, remember, the biggest risk is not in the investments we make but in the behaviors we exhibit. Do you believe in the infallibility of financial experts? Can they really predict the future of the markets? It's time to challenge the notion of the expert investor. Many of us fall into the trap of thinking that these experts with their years of experience and vast knowledge can predict market movements consistently. But the reality is that no one can foresee the future with absolute certainty. Financial markets are influenced by a myriad of factors, many of which are unpredictable. The most successful investors are not those who can predict the future, but those who understand their limitations, act with humility, and make decisions based on sound principles rather than fleeting trends. Remember, investing is not a game of perfect. It's about being right more often than you're wrong and managing risks when you are wrong. So, let's encourage humility and a realistic assessment of our limitations, because the future is never a direct extrapolation from the past, we must be humble in our predictions. How much attention do you pay to the small expenses? Do you think frugality can make you rich? In the world of finance, every penny counts. 
It's all too easy to overlook the little costs, the daily coffee, the monthly subscriptions, the seemingly insignificant fees, but over time, these small expenses can add up, eroding your wealth in ways you may not even realize. Being mindful of expenses is a crucial part of wealth building. It's not about depriving yourself of enjoyment, but rather about striking a balance. Enjoying life today while still planning for a secure future. It's about understanding the long-term impact of costs and making informed decisions. Frugality isn't about being cheap. It's about valuing your money and using it as a tool to achieve your financial goals. It's about making choices that align with your long-term vision, rather than falling into the trap of instant gratification. Remember, it's not just about how much you make but also about how much you keep. How often do you find yourself comparing your financial success to others? Is it a race or a personal journey? Let's step into the world of societal expectations and peer pressure and see how they can sway our financial decisions. It's human nature to compare ourselves to others, but when it comes to finances, this comparison can lead us astray. Instead of focusing on our own goals and values, we may find ourselves succumbing to external pressures and societal norms, chasing the financial success of others. But let's take a moment to redefine success. It's not about owning the latest gadgets, the most lavish homes, or even having a certain number in our bank accounts. It's about achieving our personal financial goals, whatever they may be. Remember, your financial journey is unique, shaped by your values, circumstances, and aspirations. So, define your own financial success. Don't let societal pressure dictate your financial decisions. It's not about keeping up with the Joneses, it's about keeping up with your own financial goals. Are you prepared for the financial winds of change? Do you have a plan B? Change is an inevitable part of life, and the financial world is no exception. Markets fluctuate, economies evolve, and personal circumstances alter, often in ways we cannot foresee. This reality underscores the crucial need for flexibility and adaptability in our financial planning. Consider the historical shifts that have rocked the financial world. The Great Depression, the dot-com bubble, the housing market crash. Each event brought significant change and those who adapted their strategies were often the ones to weather the storm. These historical examples serve as stark reminders that change is not just possible, it's guaranteed. So, how do we prepare for the unknown? By building a financial plan that's dynamic, one that can be tweaked and adjusted as circumstances dictate. This doesn't mean constant changes but rather, being open to modifications when necessary. Change is the only constant in life and the same is true for finance. Do you understand the power of compounding? Can it really make you a millionaire? Let's dig into this fascinating concept. It's simple yet profound and it's about understanding that small, consistent savings and investments can accumulate into substantial wealth over time. The magic of compounding is all about patience and discipline. It's about letting your money work for you over the years, reaping the benefits of interest on interest. It's not about becoming rich overnight, but about building wealth slowly and steadily. Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill, growing bigger and faster with each turn. That's compounding in action. The key is to start early, be consistent, and let time do its magic. Whether it's a retirement fund, a college fund for your kids, or a nest egg for the future, compounding can be your best ally. So remember, compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, he who doesn't pays it. What does wealth mean to you? Is it just about money or is there more to it? Let's challenge the conventional notions of wealth and success. Often we equate wealth with material abundance, but is that the whole story? What if we told you that wealth is not just about the size of your bank account or the price tag on your assets? It's not uncommon to see people who are financially rich but emotionally bankrupt. So, let's redefine wealth. It's about more than just money. It's about happiness and fulfillment. It's about being able to do what you love, when you want, without worrying about the bills. It's about the freedom to live life on your own terms, to pursue your passions, to spend time with loved ones. Wealth is about financial security, peace of mind, and freedom. It's about the richness of your experiences, the depth of your relationships, and the quality of your life. Remember, wealth is not just about money, it's about financial security, peace of mind, and freedom to live life on your own terms. If you liked this video, please share it with your friends, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.